Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video is about abdominal pregnancy. Definition Abdominal pregnancy is defined as implantation of a pregnancy outside the uterine cavity in the peritoneal cavity exclusive of tubal, ovarian, or broad ligament locations. Incidence Abdominal pregnancy accounts for 1% of all ectopic pregnancies with an estimated incidence 1 in 10,000 live births. Risk factors Risk factors for abdominal pregnancy are similar to risks described for other ectopic pregnancies, such as previous ectopic pregnancy, tubal surgeries or rupture, endometriosis, and pelvic inflammatory disease. No specific risk factors were particularly associated with abdominal pregnancy. Diagnosis The clinical presentation is variable. Symptoms are not specific and can overlap with those of other ectopic pregnancies. Lower abdominal pain is one of the most consistent findings and the localizing pain may be related to the site of implantation. In advanced abdominal pregnancy, pain during fetal movements, palpation of fetal parts under the maternal abdominal wall, and fetal malpresentations have been reported. A suboptimal rise in serial human chorionic gonadotropin allows to suggest the diagnosis of an ectopic pregnancy, but doesn't help to confirm the diagnosis of an abdominal pregnancy. Ultrasound is a tool of choice for abdominal pregnancy. The diagnosis of an early abdominal pregnancy is challenging. It doesn't always allow to distinguish an abdominal pregnancy from other types of extra uterine pregnancies. Ultrasound features were suggested for the diagnosis of an abdominal pregnancy. Number one, fetus outside the uterus. Number two, Failure to see a uterine wall between the fetus and the urinary bladder. Number three, close approximation of fetal parts and the maternal abdominal wall. Number four, eccentric position of fetus. Number five, placenta outside the uterine cavity. And number six, visualization of the placenta immediately adjacent to the fetal chest and the head with no amniotic fluid. Magnetic resonance imaging is helpful, especially in the advanced stage. MRI is not only useful to establish the diagnosis of abdominal pregnancy, but can also delineate the location and the relationship of the placenta to its adjacent organs and clarify vascular supply. Therefore, MRI is usually indicated when an abdominal pregnancy is diagnosed in an advanced stage to help with preoperative planning and prediction of potential complications during or after medical or surgical treatment. Despite advanced imaging modalities, only 20 to 40 percent abdominal pregnancies are diagnosed preoperatively. Differential diagnosis: When the implantation site is in the pelvic region and in the early stage. It is difficult to distinguish abdominal pregnancy from tubal ectopic pregnancy. It is not uncommon that an abdominal pregnancy is diagnosed preoperatively as a tubal pregnancy. Tubal pregnancy tends to be located laterally to the uterus, whereas abdominal pregnancy is often seen in the pouch of Douglas. Moreover, tubal pregnancy rarely goes beyond the 10 weeks of gestational age without rupture, and is movable compared with abdominal pregnancy. Another differential diagnosis is pregnancy in rudimentary horn pregnancy. The ultrasonographic criteria supporting for the diagnosis of a rudimentary horn pregnancy is the presence of myometrial tissue around the gestational sac, which is absent in abdominal pregnancy. However, it is not easy to identify the myometrium 
in advanced stages. MRI can confirm lack of myometrium around an abdominal pregnancy.